Hello dear viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to discuss two great paintings and tell you a couple of facts about them. For me, the topic of art is very close because my grandfather was an artist. On the review we have wrote famous Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci and uh, or Night over the Dnieper by Arthur Quinji. Enjoy watching. So La Gioconda or Mona Lisa now stored in the Louvre in Paris. The portrait depicts the wife of the Florentine merchant Francisco del Gioconda, hence the second name of the picture. Much has been said about the mysterious smile and the mystical self-portrait of the artist himself, hiding out of the face of Mona Lisa. Let us talk about the little known fact of the portrait. If you look closely, you will notice a flesh-colored silk ribbon threaded under the hair and raising Mona Lisa's forehead. The fact is that at the time when Leonardo da Vinci worked, there was a fashion for a high forehead among the local cockets. So Ribbon did a great job with this task. From the point of view of the canonical artistic proportions of the human face, Mona Lisa's eyes are almost on the middle line. But most viewers do not attach any importance to this or are far from painting. In reality, the line of the eyes is slightly higher. A detached and haunting look. Blurred counters in the Sfumano technique developed by Da Vinci a soft palette of colors complete by an image of a woman, which disputes have not ceased to this day. The great Italian artist, engineer, inventor Leonardo da Vinci broke up with his mother early and childhood memory brought a personal attitude to the portrait, which is why it exudes warmth and detachment. The second picture was painted by the other group Arhip Quinji, the son of a poor shoemaker, who was destined to rise from poverty to world recognition. The painting depicts a moonlight night in the Ukrainian village. The picture is remarkable for its unusual writing technique, which critics argue about and painters argue about. But the point is that Quinji was an innovator in light transmission and even patented his painting technique. The author worked on the painting for six months and during this time Dmitry Mendeleev of Iron Kramskoy, Grand Duke Konstantin Romanov visited the studio who bought the painting for a fabulous sum of a 5,000 rubles at the time. In the entire history of Russian painting, the painting Moonlight Night on the Dnieper was the only exhibit for which an exhibition was organized. And in a few days, the painting was seen by 13,000 people. People stood in a huge queue for hours and left in ecclesiastical silence. Some looked behind the picture, thinking that the lamps were hidden somewhere. The light transmission on the canvas was so stunning. It's sad to say that the young Archip was ignored by Ivan Ivazovsky, Ivazhan, to whom he came on foot as a student. The opinion quickly realized that the guy would go far and Bolivar cannot carry double, and gave him the task of painting the fence. The Academy of Arts accepted Guigi as a volunteer only from the third time, and yet Talent and self-confidence put the artist on a par with the famous masters of painting. 